they taking their newfound freedom to embarrassing extremes? I'm buying and selling adult toys. Oh, my God, no, Mum. Meet the middle-aged mums out to turn back the clock. I'm actually going to have a new designer vagina. Oh. Giving their daughter nightmares. I always follow. Just like, can you not? Can you, like, tone it down a bit? Refusing to grow old gracefully. Your phone's ringing out. No, they're not! And the ultimate wild mum. Told you. Ripping up the mothering rule book. We've even shared a boyfriend before. Forget lock up your daughters. This is a case of lock up your mum. In South East London, glamour model turned housewife, 40-year-old Jill, is refusing to let middle age force her into retirement. I know what, like, I'm getting on like a bit now. I should probably be like boring, sitting down doing nothing. I don't know. But I'm not like that, I'll never be like that. Past her sell-by date as a professional glamour girl, Jill's found another way to satisfy her lust for the limelight. I'm proper addicted to social media. It's like a drug, isn't it? Like, I'm addicted to it. <laughs> Jill may be loving her post-40 freedom, but her teenage kids aren't. My mum is a very embarrassing person. She can be like an attention seeker. She acts like she's still in her mid-20s. As far as Jill's concerned, 40 is the new 20. Oh, my God, I love my car selfies. And if it's not selfies, she's drawing attention to herself with revealing outfits. She's dressed like she's going on a catwalk, I guess you could say. Well, she isn't, how can I say, the appropriate dress for, like, coming to pick boys up from a sure. boys' school. Jill may love looking hot for the school run. John! John! But her mortified sons certainly do not. Oh. It's there! Hey. Stop shouting, it's there! Shouting? You're yeah. just being... Stop, stop, we're gonna get one over! Put your belts on. There's a word that they say all the time, but I don't, I don't know if it's appropriate. Well, I'm known as a MILF now. And it doesn't stand for a mother you'd like to fondle. What do you mean I'm known as a meal? Well, look, you come out here, you've got off your cleavage hanging out. Is your boobs hanging out? No, they're not! Yes, they are! Oh, my God! Where are my boobs hanging out? Right there! Bloody hell, Mum! You're like a living stripper! Don't be silly! I do not look like a stripper! I think I'm a bloody cool mum. I think they should be proud of me. I think they should be like, wow, look at my mummy. But it's not pride her sons are feeling, it's chronic embarrassment. To make matters worse, her now internet-savvy boys are privy to Jill's less than squeaky clean past. I went through, like, a bit of a bad patch in my life, and I've done some really stupid things, like... I've done some kiss and tells, which... disgusting. Absolutely disgusted in myself. I'd never have done it. But you know what? You learn by your mistakes, and that will never happen again. But, yeah, I'm nothing like that now. And them pictures are still on the internet, the stories are still out there, and I can't get them off. But little do her sons know, Jill's about to turn the embarrassment factor up to max by launching a raunchy new business. So, John and Jen have got no idea what's going on. I'm basically buying and selling adult toys online. That's what I'm doing. But we're going to break it to them, and I'm not looking forward to it. Jill's kids might be embarrassed by their mum, but in Suffolk is a brood of three that's not only come to terms with their mum's unconventional approach, they've embraced it. Family hug. <laughs> My mum, um, she's lovely, do you know what I mean? She's, she's got a crazy side to her. But, um, yeah, I love her to pitch, love her dearly. I think I'm normal. I think everyone else is a bit boring. That's not sexy. 46-year-old <laughs> exotic dancer and single mum Natalie spends most evenings working. So the little family time she does have is precious. And today they're spending quality time together in a tattoo parlour. I love a bit of pain. I'm great, isn't it? <laughs> Mum and her eldest son, Brett, are cementing their bond with a double inking. No, not the front, the back. So me and Brett, we do mostly everything together. And we've even shared a boyfriend before. Mum, <laughs> that's too far. <laughs> that's lost. Oh, God, I don't know how to describe Mum. Um, wild. <laughs> Yeah, we do Botox, tattoos, after parties. We do everything together. The close relationship Natalie has with her children helped her through the tragic loss of her partner. When Poppy's dad died, I got really depressed. Two, two years, I couldn't work. Natalie had to take drastic measures to provide for her family and went from sensible mum to sexy dancer overnight. I'd never thought I'd dance for a living or anything like that. I thought, well, I'm going to take the positive from this. 
and, and do all the things in life I never had the confidence to do, and dancing was one. And it makes you feel great. It's true, life does begin at 14. Natalie may not have chosen the most family-friendly of careers, but she's determined her children will be brought up properly. Do you want to go home now, Poppy, and do your English project? Yeah. Do you need any help with it? No. She does care about me, and, like, she doesn't let me walk to school by myself or do most things by myself like that. Actually, you are quite sensible. Well, I'm going to be checking that you've done your homework. Bye, everybody! Natalie's midlife career change was born of necessity, but it's also been a catalyst of change for the better. I've learned probably more about myself through dancing. I am sexy, but not I've always been told I'm not. So I've learned to love myself. <laughs> <laughs> 160 miles south in Basingstoke is another single mum, 47-year-old Fran, who's managed to close the door on a painful past and emerge feeling younger and sexier than ever. What the hell's that? Is that for writing? What's that do then? I'm not going to tell you. Can... Oh, <laughs> are they sterilised? Her 21-year-old daughter Amy has been watching her mum's reawakening in horror. Looking at um, dildos and stuff, like, I don't need to do that with my mother. Oh, how'd you turn it off? Shit. To get to my age, you, and you've been through what I've been through, you've got to have some excitement. You bring you back to the person that you used to be. You could do some naughty nurse. Everyone likes a naughty nurse. Ames, what do you think of this then? Just like, can you not? Can you like tone it down a bit? You know, can you be like a normal mother? <laughs> but being a normal mother is exactly what Fran has spent the last decade doing: raising her kids single-handedly. I was on my own, and I felt I lost myself. My confidence went. So I saw this competition and I thought, maybe I still got it, what it takes. The competition was to find the UK's hottest mum. And by creating a sexy alter ego called Fanny Fox, Fran found the confidence to strut her stuff. There's a thousand girls. It was quite easy for me. I just walked in and said, give us the crown because I'm gorgeous, come on. Winning the competition marked a new beginning for Fran, but not everyone was happy. Family members took me off Facebook, you know, um, I'm a prostitute, and they didn't actually see what Fanny Fox did. And even daughter Amy has struggled with her mum's reinvention. I hated it. I saw, like, her on Twitter and stuff, and I was just like, no, like, this is not what I want to be seeing. Like, that's, that's my mother. Look, open acting. Ooh. Amy might hate having Fanny Fox for a mum, but there's no stopping Fran now. I've got a good figure, I'm 47, so what? Life's short, this is me. If you don't like it, well, tough you. Well, I don't care, really. Coming up, menopausal madness strikes another pair of middle-aged mums. Now, this is sucks. Get rid of husbands and start all over again. <laughs> it's hard, that one, isn't it? There's nothing exotic dancer Natalie won't do for her kids. <laughs> that was the first person I gave a lap dance to. And Jill's sons get an eyeful of their mum's greatest assets. She's posting pictures of her boobs. It's just making me angry. Meet Manchester's answer to Thelma and Louise. Hello! Hi, darling! How are you? 50-year-old Sharon and 54-year-old Twinkle are best friends on a midlife mission to live life in the fast lane. For these divorced yummy mummies who've raised seven kids between them, it's payback time. We both bought up our children and looked after our homes and family, and uh, it's our time now. <laughs> Maybe they didn't live as teenagers when they were younger, so now they think now's the time to do it. <laughs> when my mum and Sharon are together, they literally are like TNT and a uh, lighter. They're nutters. Ooh. Cheers. We go out, we dance on tables. Yeah. We make friends with the barman, so we get free tequilas. Shh, don't tell anyone. Hey! But their reinvention as party animals is horrifying Twinkle's kids, Sam and Liana. Are you going to come out with uh, me and Sharon on Thursday then? No. Why? <laughs> My mum is outrageous and at the minute just thinks she's not her age. Why would I want to come out with you and Sharon? Because it will be fun. No, it will be fun. When you're middle-aged and single, you can do what the hell you want. Delivery for Sharon and Twinkle. Twinkle's ordered a butler in the buff to serve the ladies a treat. Oh, I like the delivery <laughs> boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now, this is Sirks. 
whoever said middle age was boring All right. have clearly never been clubbing with Sharon and Twinkle. We say cheers. Here's to a girly night out. You get to a certain age, everybody sort of leaves their partners or their partners go off with somebody else, so there's a lot of us that are single. I'm actually yeah. going to have a new designer vagina. <laughs> When I go out, I do like to shock people. Would you want to be the first to try it? <laughs> Get rid of husbands, right, because they're just a nightmare. Get rid of them and start over again. Sorry, guys. I would like a cocktail. What are you going to get? When we go out, we do get younger guys coming up to us. A long time I well, I'd love one of those, yeah. And I do turn around to them, don't I, and I say, how old are you? And they go, what, whatever, and I go, I've got handbags older than you from 1984. <laughs> While partners in crime, Twinkle and Sharon, prefer to ditch the kids <laughs> and party till dawn with the grown-ups. In Suffolk, for 46-year-old exotic dancer Natalie, partying means bringing her kids along. <laughs> oh, let's take a group for them. <laughs> the situation never feels weird that my kids are there. Because we're all best friends. And I'm not embarrassed for my children to see me half naked. I get birth to them. I love it. <laughs> People might say, well, they do say, I'm crazy <laughs> and off the rails. Sunny, come and see your mother. I think I'm normal. I think everyone else is a bit boring. <laughs> she doesn't care what anyone thinks, do you know what I mean? She does what she wants to do. She just doesn't care, she doesn't care do you know what I mean? That's what makes who she is. <laughs> There's little Natalie won't do in front of her kids. Even her very first pole dance at the age of 40 was for her son. I said, Brett, because he's the only person I know, I'm going to have to practice on you. He was going, go on, Mum, just do it, do it. It'll give you confidence. He goes, go on, Mum, go out there and take your knickers off and earn some money. Yeah! I started dancing when I was 14. It's true, life does begin at 14, because I've never had the confidence to do anything like that before, and I wish I'd done it 20 years ago. Seriously. But as a single parent, Natalie is determined to be a role model to her kids. At the tender age of 13, Poppy especially looks up to her mum. Mum, yeah. like, what do you think would be better for me to do when I'm older? Like, an athlete, actress or lawyer? It depends what your passion is. I think you should try to aim for everything at your age. If you're not sure what one you want to do, try all of them. Yeah. It's like when you do dancing, what dance should I do? Should I do ballet? Should I do tap? Should I do jazz? Even pole dancing is an option worth considering, as far as Mum's concerned. Poppy did say if um, she wants to go to university, I said, if I can't afford your fees, you might have to dance. But that's your choice. You've got to live the dream, make it happen. <laughs> if Poppy wants to dance in a club when she's older, fine. Wouldn't bother me at all. But Natalie, who's not only had to cope with a drastic career change, but also the death of her partner, has some words of advice for Poppy. It's like Poppy, anything you want to do in life which you can achieve, but you can't be prepared for misfortunes in life that happen. Which is what I'm saying. Always think one day this may not be what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. Always expect the unexpected, because yeah. it happens. While Poppy's hanging on her mum's every word, in South East London, World War Three is breaking out. Come to the stripper. Don't be silly, I do not look like a stripper. Exclamer model Jill's obsession with taking saucy snaps is leaving her son's red-faced. Every bit of the day, there's a selfie. Up at off. night, in the bathroom, in the toilet, in the kitchen, <laughs> in the bus, in the car, everywhere. Do you want a selfie? Yay! <laughs> well, as soon as she, the day she dies, I bet she's still going to try to take a selfie. I don't know how. What, in her coffin? Yeah. Jill's professional modelling days might be history, but she's found a new way to get noticed. I absolutely love attention. That's probably why I'm always on social media. That's probably why I'm always posting pictures, because I like people to comment nice things. But her teenage sons, Jan and Jem, are horrified by her latest posts on Facebook. She's posting pictures of her boobs. Oh, my God, looks sexy. She's just making me angry. She's a 40-year-old woman. She needs to... Step back a little bit. What are you looking at? Come in. Explain this, hang on. How many times do I have to tell you and explain to you? Right, what about that? And that? Nothing I can do about it. It's and the that, best yeah, top in the summer. Yeah, yeah. You see these pictures you're posting, yeah? Yeah. With your boobs hanging out and everything, yeah? I don't post pictures of boobs hanging out, Jim. You do? I would never do topless. Right, listen. You don't want to stop analysing my pictures. I'm not doing nothing bad. Shh. Little do the boys know, the embarrassment factor is about to be racked up with the launch of Jill's sexy toy business. And I'm really excited. I've got vibrators that are quite blingy. My dream is for it to be a long-running family business. So when the boys 
are old enough, they can take over. If I ever found out that she'd done something really embarrassing, yeah, that will be it. Honestly, talking, this has got to be the most embarrassing thing that I've ever done for the boys, from, from their point of view. With her sons for now clueless about their mum's plans and away at school, Jill sets to work. Hello. She has the stock but needs a way to sell it. Cue unsuspecting web designer, Mez. Before we start, can yeah. I just get a bit of information about yourself? Yeah. And, you know, about so your I'm, I'm just a normal family woman, you know, mm -hmm. but I'm starting up an adult toy business. Me and my husband always use toys. We've always used toys. We have fun, you know, with them. I'm a bit lost for words. <laughs> But, um, yeah, but it's just I mean, a business, you know. It's, it's, it's not, it's no, nothing dirty about it. It's no porn, no, 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 nothing no, no, like no. that. It's just a business. You said, I know you said categories. Um, yeah. Think about adults, uh, couples. I suppose we could do separate. We could do like um, lesbian, products? lesbians, okay. bi, gay, couples, okay. solos. <laughs> I'll leave the category choice to yourself. I'll get started. Okay. And yeah. Then we'll Brilliant. From there. Amazing. Uh, and you obviously good. shop with me, yes. Uh, <laughs> do you I, not use toys? I, I leave the shopping. <laughs> I don't do the shopping. I haven't had the pleasure. Maybe your wife will. Maybe, yeah, maybe. <laughs> okay, well, Lovely. take care. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Old or young, it seems no man can escape the embarrassment left in Jill's wake. <laughs> Two other middle aged mums who can't stop embarrassing their kids are bestie mum mates Sharon and Twinkle. Do they come in bigger sizes? <laughs> oh, my word. I couldn't wear anything like that. That's miles too small. I don't think I will ever calm down. I'm probably getting worse at the moment, but that's because I've got a newfound freedom and confidence. But however much Sharon and Twinkle act like teenagers, they're still stuck with bodies that look middle-aged. What about this one, though? That's disgusting. 50-year-old Sharon's been trying to reinvigorate her lost youth. OK, I'm just going to go and do the other side. Today, she's topping up her lip fillers started with Botox and I thought this is brilliant just love the way I looked and it gives you that ego boost then I went for fillers uh, and it, if I could afford it obviously I'd have more stuff done absolutely love it <laughs> and where Sharon leads 54 year old Twinkle follows she's my guinea pig <laughs> I sent her first <laughs> Today I'm having fillers in my cheeks. I'm very, very nervous because I've never had this done before. I think everybody is chasing youth and wants to delay the ageing process. I'm trying to age gracefully, but just slow it down. It's the moment of truth for first-time filly, Twinkle. Oh, gosh, yeah, I can see it already. Yeah, it's already puffed up here. I think you should be able to enjoy life and enjoy how you look for as long as possible. <laughs> With faces freshly rejuvenated, the ladies are ready to face the world once more. Well, almost. Sharon has booked herself an extra treat, a breast enlargement. They used to be nice and full, but my everyone had not, so I want them to fill back up, but I don't want the big round footballs to run. No, no. But the shape of things to come isn't Sharon's greatest concern. Have you told the children you're going to have it done? I haven't told uh, Sophie yet. Oh. I'm just going to flip a lid, I think. She's OK. Going, <laughs> Coming up, Jill reveals all to her sons. Jan's getting upset. She's making adult toys. Makes me embarrassed. Fanny Fox comes out to play. Well, every man likes a cat woman. I just kind of want to leave the room. And exotic dancer Natalie goes completely wild. Come and see your mother. My mum does embarrass me. She like kisses of girls. Right, go to the hot cupboard in here. This is where all the naughty bits are. In Basingstoke, mum of two Fran has successfully reinvented herself as a sex symbol at the age of 47. I don't want <laughs> and has got the title to prove it. I won the UK hottest MILF in 2014-2015. So you get to my age you, and you've been through what I've been through, you've got to have some excitement. Her dramatic transformation has been Fran's attempt to close a very painful chapter in her life. Twelve years ago, Fran was expecting her second child and was thrilled to discover she was carrying a boy. We had everything, everything you can imagine. And then I found out um, after the second scan that my son had a lump on his back. So he was really, really poorly. The news was life-changing. The lump was a teratoma, a form of tumour that's usually benign, 
but can cause serious complications. Carrying the baby to term would also put Fran's life in danger. Consultant said, you know, I could die. Are you ready to take that risk? And I said, why well, I desperately wanted a son. So I decided to carry him. After a difficult pregnancy, four months later, it was time for Fran to meet her son. I had a cesarean and it took three people to pick that little boy up because he was three pounds and the tumour was six pounds. He was still my son and I thought to myself, I've got a lot of work, a lot of agony and I've got to kick ass to give this boy a life. Baby Alex survived. Doctors were able to remove the tumour, but he was left with medical problems. So Fran dedicated herself to becoming his carer. That 10 years journey was so hard for me, being left with Litlin, with all his problems. A decade on and Alex is a happy 12-year-old. And Fran is a new woman, literally. Fun-loving Fanny Fox has helped her put the toughest time of her life behind her and has been helping raise money for charity. I think I had 56,000 followers at the time. So I used to sell my pictures. Most of my fans used to give 10, 20 quid. I think I raised over 100,000 pounds. Today, Fanny Fox is out in force for a photo shoot Fran is hoping will raise yet more money for a good cause. I'm ready for you, Wow, just stretch your body out when you do it. That's it. Nice, good. If you got it, flaunt it. There's no arm, it's just a bit of fun, isn't it? Well, every man likes a cat woman, don't they? Oh, they do. Yeah, they do. <laughs> the cat suit certainly seems to be having the desired effect on photographer Anthony. That looks good. Yeah? Very, very good. Right, yeah. Yep. When my mum does photo shoots, it's a bit weird. Like, I just kind of want to leave the room. And whilst mum pouts, her 21-year-old daughter Amy is forced to grin and bear it. When it comes to the actual shoot and seeing people photograph her, I'm not really a fan of it, but who would be if you like, if it's your mother? And you're looking hot, isn't <laughs> For Amy, her mother's provocative posing is a necessary evil. I can't really say anything. It's just my mother's business, but I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. <sighs> wow. All right. Excellent, yeah. Fran's hoping today's snaps are hot enough to get her loyal fans digging in their pockets. <laughs> That's a nice one. Do you like that one? Yeah, it's very um, military, though. <laughs> well, do I get them free, do I? As it's you. Yeah. As yeah. it's for a good cause. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you don't ask, you don't get. That's yeah. it. In Manchester, two other middle-aged mums are, like Fran, putting their past behind them and grabbing life after 40 by the horns. All right! We do sort of egg each other on when we're together with our bad behaviour. They, too, are determined to go to great lengths to fend off old age and look as good as possible. Ooh, cheers. Cheers. Started with Botox, then I went for fillers, obviously had my lips done. But now Sharon's ready to take it one step further and go under the knife to achieve her ultimate aim of bigger, younger-looking boobs. That's like it. No, that's ridiculous. <laughs> But first, she has to square it with her 22-year-old daughter, Sophie, who's far from happy with her mother's cosmetic meddling. Hello. You've had your lips done again, haven't you? What do you mean? They're all bruised at the top. What, what do you mean? What's that? It tends to be asymmetric near every time I come down. Oh, I think I had a bee sting. No. Really? You've had your lips done. I have, yeah. And you look like a duck. If you can't really notice, then it's not a big deal. If it's like the lips and she looks like a duck, then... That's a bit much. Disgusting. If Sophie's upset about her mum's trout pout, then Sharon's latest plan doesn't bode well for mother-daughter relations. You know how um, I've always, always gone on about having my boobs done and stuff? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm having them done next week. What size then? Not going football. It's the shape. It's like... It's the yeah, but what, so, what size? I think she knows what sort of size they're putting in secretly. She just doesn't want to say, because she knows I'll go mad. You can't tell till it's been done, but I'm not going to be Dolly Parton. But better not be. Why? What's, what's wrong with that? Because you're 50. What difference does it make how old you are? She's been granny clothes. I should be what? <laughs> over in Suffolk, 46-year-old Natalie has only had support from her children over her hot and sexy new look she's adopted since becoming an exotic dancer. I've learned probably more about myself through dancing. My job is selling myself. So I've learned to love myself. <laughs> But spending every evening working away from her kids is tough for this single mum of three. 
Yeah. It's a hard, stressful job, it really is. And it's fair enough, she deserves to go out, like, have a few drinks, a party every Sunday, do you know what I mean, all her friends and family. So a day off means a family day, but having the kids in tow doesn't stop Natalie letting her hair down. My mum is crazy. She doesn't care what people think about her. I don't really mind being the one who's not drunk, because I'm used to it by now. As the booze flows, Natalie becomes more and more outrageous. For 13-year-old Poppy, it's all par for the course on a family outing. Sometimes my mum does embarrass me. She, like, kisses other girls. I snug all the girls. I never snug men. I will have a little bit of lesbian action. She just kisses anyone, to be honest. <laughs> I'm still sensible. Yeah. I'm just wild. Yeah. Do it uphill, not downhill. <laughs> Head injury. I know, it's she gorgeous. <laughs> she flirts with everyone. It's just... It's just her, and it's natural to me to see her like that anyway. But Natalie's not the only one who's allowed to be flirtatious. It's something she encourages in all her kids. Sonny really fancies her, because he loves curvy, sexy girls, dark hair. And I saw his face, and he was like... I was like, oh, it's going to be a good day. <laughs> and straight away, they hit it off. After five hours in the pub, this merry band of revellers take the party home. Natalie's kids have fully accepted their mum's sexy persona. In South East London, 40-year-old selfie-obsessed Jill's traumatised teenagers most definitely haven't. She goes over the top. Like, she's not 20. Like, she's a 40-year-old woman. She needs to step back a little bit. She's posting pictures of her boobs. Oh, my God, it's so sick. It's just making me angry. Jan and Jem might already be embarrassed, but it's about to get a whole lot worse. I'm basically buying and selling adult toys online. That's what I'm doing. But Jan and Jem, this has got to be the most embarrassing thing, yeah. Definitely, 100%. Having successfully managed to smuggle the new stock into the house, the next task was to tell her boys, and it's gone down like a lead balloon. Jan's a bit... He's getting upset. Last night when I spoke to him about it, he was embarrassed. He said, I feel embarrassed. Um, it's a bit embarrassing. And when I explained to him that we're just selling as our toys, then he was all right. But then today, again, he's gone a bit weird. So... She's making adult toys, and it makes me embarrassed. Before the boys have time to come to terms with that shock, Jill hits them with another bombshell. So, boys, I'm having a party tonight because I told you what's going on last night. This is for the launch of our new business, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just want to know what you... How do you not feel about it? Say so if, like... Oh, yeah, so what did your mum do? Oh, my mum works in shop. Oh, yeah, my mum makes still does. There's no need to be embarrassed. There's no need to... I am embarrassed because people are disrespecting you. What, what do you mean people are disrespecting me? Because people are like, mum makes sex toys. I don't know, it just feels... It's just really weird. Every job and it's really, normal. I feel embarrassed, but if it's what you want to do, it's what you no, want to do. No, every job is normal. It's just not as common. Encouraged by the glimmer of positivity from at least one of her boys, Jill goes for the big reveal. Roll it out, roll it out, look. Jen, oh, my Jen. God, no, mum. Roll it out, roll it out. Mum, no. No, no mum. Jill has decided to be the face and body of the new advertising campaign. What do you boys think? Hold it out. Thanks, Beautiful poster. It really is. Thank you. But that picture, it's the only issue. Ouch. But there's no time to dwell on Mum's saucy pick. The party kicks off in just 20 minutes. Right, I want you to sit up from the chairs and hang that up there, please. Right. No, not too high. No, that's not straight. I've got no time because I'm having to look after the kids and I'm trying to organise a party. So I haven't been able to blow the balloons out properly. I haven't been able to take any party stuff out. I'm stressed. With the banner in place and the boys banished to their rooms... Uh, she kicks up here because it's too inappropriate for us. It's time for Jill to greet her guests. Oh, Hello, girls! Hello. You all right? You okay? Come in, come in, come in! Come in! Now, these are the sort of things I'm going to be saying. Oh! oh. Yep. Is that a yeah. I don't like the fact that she's doing this. I know she's doing it for us, so I appreciate that, but I just still think it's embarrassing. So, girls, I've got some champagne to celebrate. Yeah, I am proud of my mum because, you know, she's, at the end of the day, she's trying. At least she's trying something. That was just for everyone. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's better than just sitting there not trying anything. <laughs> Yay! Up in Manchester, embarrassing mums, Sharon and Twinkle, are determined to live middle-aged to the max. Cheers to a girly night out. 
50-year-old Sharon has decided to get a body that looks as young as she feels and has booked in for a breast enlargement. I'm having them done next week. If they're too big, then it would be quite embarrassing. Despite daughter Sophie's lack of enthusiasm, Sharon has pushed ahead with her plans. It's double D-Day. Can you believe it's today now? <laughs> are you still worried about the size they're going to be? Are oh, they going to be huge? They are going to be huge. I've wanted a boob job ever since I had my last child because I breastfed them all as well. So I went from like a 34D to a sort of um, a BC. I just didn't feel very nice about myself at all. So I think I'll feel a lot more confident now. But we'll, we'll see when, when it happens. The 50-year-old is scheduled to go under the knife in a couple of hours. And the enormity of what she's about to do is just sinking in. Ready? Just about, I think. I don't know, I'm really nervous now. No boob. Definitely, I know. Be like that. Like this. It'd be humongous. I don't really know what to expect when, when I take all the bandages off and I'm just scared in case I absolutely hate them. Surgery's always a risk, but if you're over 50, those dangers increase. So is it really worth it? People who think that getting a boob job is not age appropriate for somebody who's 50 um, need to get a life, basically, because I'm not dead. I want to look good for my age, and I don't want to sit there in a big cardi and look like a frump, so why not? Sharon's determined to look good at any cost. Oh, love you. Right, my lovely. Let's go, follow me. Although daughter Sophie is not exactly thrilled at the prospect of a bigger-breasted mum, she's accepted Sharon has now gone past the point of no return. I just think she's trying to just make herself a bit more confident and just feel a bit better about herself, cos she's 50, she hates being 50, so I suppose it makes her happy. Coming up... Oh, Fanny Fox goes on a manhunt. You're not married, then. You're not... I can't deal with it. It's just too much. Wild mum Natalie gets herself a girl. You're nice to cuddle. You can marry my son. And will Sharon's new additions be what she was hoping for? No pain, no gain. In Suffolk, it's the morning after 46-year-old exotic dancer Natalie's wild family outing. After the alcohol-fueled excesses of yesterday, it's back to being sensible mum. Wakey, wakey. It's ten past eight. And that means getting 13-year-old Poppy up for school. I can get drunk, but she likes me to take her to school on time. My parent. Where's your tie and blazer? Wait, you've got two shirts. I love you! Love you. <laughs> My mum, I don't think she's that sensible. <laughs> okay, thanks. We can walk to school. With Poppy taken care of, there's someone else in need of Natalie's mothering. Anyway, I've called. She's the cat in my bed. Tucked up in Natalie's bed is 20-year-old Safia, who joined in with the family fun yesterday. <laughs> Sunny's like, is this Sunny? I'm taking this photo video. It's like, Sunny, <laughs> Joking aside, Natalie, in fact, had some very mum-like reasons for stealing Sunny's lady. I said, you're not sleeping together on your first date. You only just met today. That's not allowed. So I took her to bed with me instead. <laughs> I was well pissed off her mum, but... This is one of those things, isn't it? Your mum's looking, mum looking out for you. If you like her, you're going to sleep with her. She likes you, she'll get to sleep with you. The mother has to try out for us. <laughs> Girlfriends. <laughs> mum's taught me basically everything about life that I needed to know. Like, um, to treat women especially as well. That's what the my, my big side I've seen of it. Like, if I actually meet a girl, I actually meet a girl and I actually like, take her out. I'm not a slag, basically. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You're nice to cuddle. You can marry my son. Apparently, Mother really does know best, because separating the lovebirds has fueled Sonny's desire. Makes me more intrigued to see her again. I'm still texting her. I'll hopefully see her soon. I think all mums should be like my mum, to be honest. My mum should be laid back. Johnny, go to bed. They all deserve to let their hair down, do you know what I mean? I think all mums should go out and have some fun. Don't worry about what other people think. There are not many sons who would be as accepting of their mum's behaviour as Sonny. The usual reaction is abject mortification. Your boobs are hanging out. No, they're not. Yes, they are. It's just like, can you not? Can you like tone it down a bit? Do they come in bigger sizes? <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> Up in Manchester, 
50-year-old Sharon's determination to act at least 30 years younger is causing her daughter Sophie deep embarrassment. But that hasn't stopped her from chasing her dream of looking as young as she behaves. After testing the water with hundreds of pounds of Botox and fillers... I it like a duck. <laughs> ..she's now decided to go the whole hog and go under the knife for a major cosmetic procedure. When I get my new boobs, I think I'll be even more confident, especially, you know, in a hot tub or drinking my cocktails in my nice bikini, and I'll feel a lot better within myself, to be honest. Sharon's been in surgery for two hours, and she'll soon find out if it's all been worth it. Sharon? Sarah, hello. Waking up now, Sophie and best mate Twinkle are waiting for her in recovery. I'm really excited for her. I don't think this will change who she is. I just think it'll just make her just so happy. I can see your boobies. Hey, bloody hell. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh. Oh, I'm going to fall here. I'm Sharon's finally got the younger, perkier and bigger breast she's been waiting for. It's always worth it. No pain, no gain. And there's only one way to celebrate. Happy Boobie Day to you. Oh, my God! Happy Boobies. Happy Boobies. Happy Boobies. Happy boobies. <laughs> oh, my God, that's amazing. I absolutely love it. When you sort of reach your 40s, you know, you're expected to stay home, wear a penny and put on slippers. Now people are living longer, they're much healthier, they're looking much better. So why shouldn't she make the best of what she looks like? And if she wants to carry on looking good, why shouldn't she? Brilliant, I love it. Now everybody can have a bite of my boobies. Three weeks later, Sharon and her two new best friends are ready to party on. But if there's one mum who's embraced middle age and learned to love her own body like none other, it's 47-year-old divorcee Fran. Ames, can you help me decide what to wear? I've got a plastic dress, but I don't think that would go down well. As far as Fran's concerned, if you've got it, flaunt it. And she's persuaded daughter Amy to hit the town. Amy, darling, my buttercup, what do you think of this outfit? Um... Hello, darling. <laughs> Just what any 21-year-old needs on a night out, a frisky mother dressed in a catsuit. So you ready for tonight, then? Yeah, I suppose. Just don't cramp my style. Don't cramp my style. <laughs> I would try not to. Thanks, Mum. See what I have to deal with? Like, I know, but Jesus people Christ. just have a bit of fun. It's the catsuit. Everyone loves the catsuit woman, don't they? Within minutes of arriving, Fran's already working the room. So what, what is it this time, then? It's going to be baby Genesis. And all under her daughter's watchful eye. Seven baby Genesis, please. The night's the Oh, well, yeah. thank you. <laughs> you can get someone that's under 45 that's a bit fit-looking, that's got a bit of charm about him, and then I'll be buying him a drink. Having found the sweet spot at the end of the bar, Fran is quick to hook her second catch of the night. You're not married, then? You're not... Uh, oh, are you? Yeah. In between men, Mum grabs the chance to pass on her expertise to her daughter. But I'm the teacher, so you've got to learn how to hustle. This is all about hustling. She's got two free drinks already. Like, it's crazy the attention she gets. Lovely. I always swallow. <laughs> the name of the game. I can't deal with it. It's just too much. There's a level. No. <laughs> no. Don't need to hear that stuff from your mother, you know. I've got a big character, so I like to talk to everybody, and I think I'm too friendly because it gets me in a lot of drama. Mum persuades Amy to come back out to play. But it's not just her daughter Fran wants to party with. It's a bit it's, it is very it's embarrassing. Come on, put on the gray. I felt like you I was just going to at Greece. I mean, if I, if I wasn't your daughter, like I think you'd look great, but it's still embarrassing. It is embarrassing. My mum's always been an embarrassing mother, but I'm proud of her. And like to look the way my mother does at like 47, I'd love to look like that. So, mums of the UK, if you're grappling with young kids, swamped in domestic drudgery, don't fret. Your time will come. I love you dearly, and I'm still keeping my eyes on you because your mother can act like a dick, but you can't.
told her, and it's not just Amy's mum who's revealing all when it comes to the dating scene. Eamon questions Kelly and Vicky for our cheeky relationship quiz. It's not me, it's you, Thursday at 10. Rylan's here with his bit on the side next. from her children. Over her hot and sexy new look, she's adopted since becoming an exotic dancer. I've learned probably more about myself through dancing. My job is selling myself. So I've learned to love myself. But spending every evening working away from her kids is tough for this single mum of three. It's a hard, stressful job, it really is. And it's fair enough she deserves to go out, like, have a few drinks, a party every Sunday, do you know what I mean, all her friends and family. So a day off means a family day, but having the kids in tow doesn't stop Natalie letting her hair down. My mum is crazy. She doesn't care what people think about her. I don't really mind being the one who's not drunk because I'm used to it by now. As the booze flows, Natalie becomes more and more outrageous. For 13-year-old Poppy, it's all par for the course on a family outing. Sometimes my mum does embarrass me. She like kisses up girls. I snog all the girls. I never snog men. I love a little bit of lesbian action. I should just kisses anyone, to be honest. <laughs> I'm still sensible. Yeah. I'm just wild. Yeah. Do it uphill, not downhill. <laughs> Head injury. I know that she gorgeous. She flirts with everyone. It's just. It's just her, and it's natural to me to see her like that anyway. But Natalie's not the only one who's allowed to be flirtatious. It's something she encourages in all her kids. Sonny really fancies her, cos he loves curvy, sexy girls, dark hair. And I saw his face, he was like... I was like, oh, it's going to be a good day. <laughs> and straight away, they hit it off. After five hours in the pub, this merry band of revellers take the party home. Natalie's kids have fully accepted their mum's sexy persona. In South East London, 40-year-old selfie-obsessed Jill's traumatised teenagers most definitely haven't. She goes over the top. Like, she's not 20. Like, she's a 40-year-old woman. She needs to step back a little bit. She's posting pictures of her boobs. Oh, my God, it's sexy. It's just making me angry. Jan and Jem might already be embarrassed, but it's about to get a whole lot worse. I'm basically buying and selling adult toys online. That's what I'm doing. But Jan and Jem, this has got to be the most embarrassing thing, yeah. Definitely, 100%. Having successfully managed to smuggle the new stock into the house, the next task was to tell her boys, and it's gone down like a lead balloon. Jan's a bit... He's getting upset. Last night when I spoke to him about it, he was embarrassed. He said, I feel embarrassed. Um, it's a bit embarrassing. And when I explained to him that we're just selling as our toys, then he was all right, but then today, again, he's gone a bit weird. So... She's making adult toys, and it makes me embarrassed. I live the dream, make it happen. <laughs> Probably wants to dance in a club when she's older. Fine. Wouldn't bother me at all. But Natalie, who's not only had to cope with the drastic career change, but also the death of her partner, has some words of advice for Poppy. It's like Poppy, anything you want to do in life, which you can achieve, but you can't be prepared for misfortunes in life that happen. Which is what I'm saying. Always think one day this may not be what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. Always expect the unexpected, because yeah. it happens. While Poppy's hanging on her mum's every word. In South East London, World War Three is breaking out. Not for the stripper. Don't be silly, I do not like a stripper. Ex-glamour model Jill's obsession with taking saucy snaps is leaving her sons red-faced. Every bit of the day, there's a selfie. Up at oh. night. In the bathroom, in the toilet, in the kitchen, in the bus, in the car, everywhere. Did you want a selfie? Yay! <laughs> well, as soon as the day she dies, I bet she's still going to try to take a selfie. I don't know how. What, in her coffin? Yeah. Jill's professional modelling days might be history, but she's found a new way to get noticed. I absolutely love attention. That's probably why I'm always on social media. That's probably why I'm always posting pictures, because I like people to comment nice things. 
but her teenage sons, Jan and Jem, are horrified by her latest posts on Facebook. She's posting pictures of her boobs. Oh, my God, looks sexy. She's just making me angry. She's a 40-year-old woman. She needs to step back a little bit. What are you looking at? Come in. Explain this, hang on. How many times do I have to tell you and explain to you? Right, what about that? And that? Nothing I can do about it. It's the best yeah, top yeah, in the summer. Yeah, yeah, You see these pictures you're posting, yeah? Yeah. With your boobs hanging out and everything, yeah? I don't post pictures of boobs hanging out, Jim. You do? I would never do topless. Right, listen. You lot got to stop analysing my pictures. I'm not doing nothing bad. Shh. Little do the boys know, the embarrassment factor is about to be racked up with the launch of Jill's sexy toy business. I'm really excited. I've got vibrators that are quite blingy. My dream is for it to be a long-running family business, so when the boys are old enough, they can take over. If I ever found out that she'd done something really embarrassing, yeah, that'll be it. Honestly, talking, this has got to be the most embarrassing thing that I've ever done for the boys. From, from their point of view. With her sons for now clueless about their mum's plans and away at school, Jill sets to work. Hello. She has the stock but needs a way to sell it. Cue unsuspecting web designer, Mez. Before we start, can yeah. I just get a bit of information about yourself? Yeah. And, you know, about so your I'm, I'm just a normal family woman, you know, mm -hmm. but I'm starting up an adult toy business. Me and my husband always use toys. We've always used toys. We have fun, you know, with them. I'm a bit lost for words. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, but it's just I mean, a business, you know. It's, 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 not, it's no, nothing dirty about it. It's no adult toys. It makes me embarrassed. Fanny Fox comes out to play. Well, every man likes a cat woman. I just kind of want to leave them in. And exotic dancer Natalie goes completely wild. Wild. Come and see your mother. My mum does embarrass me. She like kisses of girls. Right, go to the hot cupboard in here. This is where all the naughty bits are. In Basingstoke, mum of two Fran has successfully reinvented herself as a sex symbol at the age of 47. Like that one? <laughs> has got the title to prove it. I won the UK Hottest MILF in 2014-2015. So you get to my age you, and you've been through what I've been through, you've got to have some excitement. Her dramatic transformation has been Fran's attempt to close a very painful chapter in her life. Twelve years ago, Fran was expecting her second child and was thrilled to discover she was carrying a boy. We had everything, everything you could imagine. And then I found out um, after the second scan that my son had a lump on his back. So he was really, really poorly. The news was life-changing. The lump was a teratoma, a form of tumor that's usually benign, but can cause serious complications. Carrying the baby to term would also put Fran's life in danger. Consultant said, you know, I could die. Are you ready to take that risk? And I said, well, I desperately wanted a son. So I decided to carry him. After a difficult pregnancy, four months later, it was time for Fran to meet her son. I had a cesarean, and it took three people to pick that little boy up because he was three pounds and the tumour was six pounds. He was still my son, and I thought to myself, I've got a lot of work, a lot of agony, and I've got to kick ass to give this boy a life. Baby Alex survived. Doctors were able to remove the tumour, but he was left with medical problems. So Fran dedicated herself to becoming his carer. That 10 years journey was so hard for me, being left with Litlin, with all his problems. A decade on and Alex is a happy 12-year-old. And Fran is a new woman, literally. Fun-loving Fanny Fox has helped her put the toughest time of her life behind her and has been helping raise money for charity. I think I had 56,000 followers at the time. So I used to sell my pictures. Most of my fans used to give 10, 20 quid. I think I raised over 100,000 pounds. Today, Fanny Fox is out in force for a photo shoot Fran is hoping will raise yet more money for a good cause. I'm ready for you, Wow, just stretch your body out when you do it, that's it. Nice, good. If you got it, flaunt it. There's no arm, it's just a bit of fun, isn't it? Well, every man likes a cat woman, don't they? Oh, they do. Do you, yes? Uh, <laughs> do you I, not use toys? I, I leave the shopping. <laughs> I don't do the shopping. I haven't had the pleasure. <laughs> maybe your honest. wife will. Maybe, yeah, maybe. <laughs> OK, well, Love take care. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Old or young, it seems no man can escape the embarrassment left in Jill's wake. <laughs> 
two other middle-aged mums who can't stop embarrassing their kids are bestie mum mates Sharon and Twinkle. Do they come in bigger sizes? <laughs> oh, my word. I couldn't wear anything like that. That's miles too small. I don't think I will ever calm down. I'm probably getting worse at the moment, but that's because I've got a newfound freedom and confidence. But however much Sharon and Twinkle act like teenagers, they're still stuck with bodies that look middle-aged. What about this one, though? That's disgusting. 50-year-old Sharon's been trying to reinvigorate her lost youth. OK, I'm just going to go and do the other side. Today, she's topping up her lip fillers. Started with Botox, and I thought this is brilliant. Just love the way I looked, and it gives you that ego boost. Then I went for fillers, uh, and it, if I could afford it, obviously I'd have more stuff done. Absolutely love it. <laughs> and where Sharon leads, 54-year-old Twinkle follows. She's my guinea pig. <laughs> I send her first. <laughs> Today I'm having fillers in my cheeks. I'm very, very nervous because I've never had this done before. I think everybody is chasing youth and wants to delay the ageing process. I'm trying to age gracefully, but just slow it down. It's the moment of truth for first-time filly, Twinkle. Oh, gosh, yeah, I can see it already. Yeah. It's already puffed up here. I think you should be able to enjoy life and enjoy how you look for as long as possible. <laughs> With faces freshly rejuvenated, the ladies are ready to face the world once more. Well, almost. Sharon has booked herself an extra treat, a breast enlargement. They used to be nice and full, but my other and not, so I want them to fill back up, but I don't want the big round footballs to run. No, no. But the shape of things to come isn't Sharon's greatest concern. Have you told the children you're going to have it done? I haven't told uh, Sophie yet. Oh. I'm just going to flip a lid, I think. She's OK. Gonna go, Mother! <laughs> Coming up, Jill reveals all to her sons. Jan's getting upset. She's making adult toys. Makes me embarrassed. Fanny Fox comes out to play. Well, every man likes a cat woman. I just kind of want to leave them in. And exotic dancer Natalie goes completely wild. Come and see your mother. My mum does embarrass me. She like kisses of girls. Right, go to the hot cupboard in here. This is where all the naughty bits are. In Basingstoke, mum of two Fran has successfully reinvented herself as a sex symbol at the age of 47. But, um, yeah, but it's just I mean, a business, you know. It's, it's, it's not, it's no, nothing dirty about it. It's no porn, no, 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 nothing no, no, like no. that. Well, it's just a business. It's, I know we said categories. Um, yeah. About adults, uh, couples. I suppose we could do separate. We could do, like, um, lesbian, lesbians, okay. bi... Gay couples, okay. solos. I'll leave the category choice to yourself. I'll get started. Okay, and yeah, then we'll brilliant. From there. Amazing. Uh, and you obviously yeah. shop with me, yes? Uh, <laughs> do you I, not use toys? I, I leave the shopping. <laughs> I don't do the shopping. I haven't had the pleasure. <laughs> maybe your wife will. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe. <laughs> okay, well, Lovely, take care. Pleasure. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Old or young, it seems no man can escape the embarrassment left in Jill's wake. Two other middle-aged mums who can't stop embarrassing their kids are bestie mum mates Sharon and Twinkle. Do they come in bigger sizes? <laughs> oh, my word. I couldn't wear anything like that. That's miles too small. I don't think I will ever calm down. I'm probably getting worse at the moment, but that's because I've got a newfound freedom and confidence. But however much Sharon and Twinkle act like teenagers, they're still stuck with bodies that look middle-aged. What about this one, though? That's disgusting. 50-year-old Sharon's been trying to reinvigorate her lost youth. OK, I'm just going to go and do the other side. Today, she's topping up her lip fillers. Started with Botox, and I thought, this is brilliant. Just love the way I looked, and it gives you that ego boost. Then I went for fillers, uh, and it, if I could afford it, obviously, I'd have more stuff done. Absolutely love it. <laughs> and where Sharon leads, 54-year-old Twinkle follows. She's my guinea pig. <laughs> I send her first. <laughs> Today I'm having fillers in my cheeks. I'm very, very nervous because I've never had this done before. I think everybody is chasing youth and wants to delay the ageing process. I'm trying to age gracefully, but just slow it down. It's the moment of truth for first-time filly, Twinkle. Oh, gosh, yeah, I can see it already. Yeah, it's already puffed up here. I think you should be able to enjoy life and enjoy how you look for as long as possible. <laughs> With faces freshly rejuvenated, the ladies are ready to face the world once more. Well, almost. 
Sharon has booked herself an extra treat, a breast enlargement. They used to be nice and full, but my other and not, so I want them filled back up, but I don't want big round footballs to ride. No, no. But the shape of things to come isn't Sharon's greatest concern. Have you told the children you're going to have it done? I haven't told uh, Sophie yet. And oh. She's just going to flip a lid on it. Oh, OK. Go, Mother! <laughs> Coming up, Jill reveals all to her sons. Jan's getting upset. She's making adult toys. Makes me embarrassed. Fanny Fox comes out to play. Well, every man likes a cat woman. I just kind of want to leave the room. And exotic dancer Natalie. Okay. Bye. Gay. Couples. Solos. <laughs> I'll leave the category choice to yourself. I'll get started. Okay, yeah. And then we'll Brilliant. From there. Amazing. Uh, and you obviously yeah. shop with me, yes? Uh, <laughs> do you I, not use toys? I, I leave the shopping. <laughs> I don't do the shopping. I haven't had the pleasure. <laughs> maybe your honest. wife will. Maybe, yeah, maybe. <laughs> okay, well, Lovely, take care. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Old or young, it seems no man can escape the embarrassment left in Jill's wake. Two other middle-aged mums who can't stop embarrassing their kids are bestie mum mates Sharon and Twinkle. Do they come in bigger sizes? <laughs> oh, my word. I couldn't wear anything like that. That's miles too small. I don't think I will ever calm down. I'm probably getting worse at the moment, but that's because I've got a newfound freedom and confidence. But however much Sharon and Twinkle act like teenagers, they're still stuck with bodies that look middle-aged. What about this one, though? That's disgusting. 50-year-old Sharon's been trying to reinvigorate her lost youth. OK, I'm just going to go and do the other side. Today, she's topping up her lip fillers. Started with Botox, and I thought, this is brilliant. Just love the way I looked, and it gives you that ego boost. Then I went for fillers, uh, and it, if I could afford it, obviously, I'd have more stuff done. Absolutely love it. <laughs> and where Sharon leads, 54-year-old Twinkle follows. She's my guinea pig. <laughs> I send her first. <laughs> Today, I'm having fillers in my cheeks. I'm very, very nervous, because I've never had this done before. I think everybody is chasing youth and wants to delay the ageing process. I'm trying to age gracefully, but just slow it down. It's the moment of truth for first-time filly, Twinkle. Oh, gosh, yeah, I can see it already. Yeah, it's already puffed up here. I think you should be able to enjoy life and enjoy how you look for as long as possible. With faces freshly rejuvenated, the ladies are ready to face the world once more. Well, almost. Sharon has booked herself an extra treat. A breast enlargement. They used to be nice and full, but my other and not, so I want them filled back up, but I don't want big round footballs to ride. No, no. But the shape of things to come isn't Sharon's greatest concern. Have you told the children you're going to have it done? I haven't told uh, Sophie yet, and oh. she's just going to flip a lid on it. She's OK. Go, Mother! <laughs> Coming up, Jill reveals all to her sons. Jan's getting upset. She's making adult toys. Makes me embarrassed. Fanny Fox comes out to play. Well, every man likes a cat woman. I just kind of want to leave the room. And exotic dancer Natalie goes completely wild. Come and see your mother. My mum does embarrass me. She like kisses of girls. Like go single parent, Natalie is determined to be a role model to her kids. At the tender age of 13, Poppy especially looks up to her mum. Mum, yeah. like, what do you think would be better for me to do when I'm older? Like an athlete, actress or lawyer? It depends what your passion is. I think you should try to aim for everything at your age. If you're not sure what one you want to do, try all of them. Yeah. It's like when you do dancing, what dance should I do? Should I do ballet? Should I do tap? Should I do jazz? Even pole dancing is an option worth considering, as far as Mum's concerned. Poppy did say if um, she wants to go to university, I said, if I, if I can't afford your fees, you might have to dance. But that's your choice. You've got to live the dream, make it happen. <laughs> if Poppy wants to dance in a club when she's older, fine. Wouldn't bother me at all. But Natalie, who's not only had to cope with the drastic career change, but also the death of her partner, has some words of advice for Poppy. It's like Poppy, anything you want to do in life which you can achieve, but you can't be prepared for misfortunes in life that happen. Which is why I'm saying, always think one day this may not be what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. Always expect the unexpected, because yeah. it happens. While Poppy's hanging on her mum's every word, in South East London, World War III is breaking out. 
Look for me stripper. Don't be silly, I do not look like a stripper. Ex-glamour model Jill's obsession with taking saucy snaps is leaving her son's red-faced. Every bit of the day, there's a selfie. Up oh. at night, in the bathroom, in the toilet, in the kitchen, <laughs> in the bus, in the car, everywhere. Do you want a selfie? Yay! <laughs> well, as soon as the day she dies, I bet she's still going to try to take a selfie. I don't know how. What, in her coffin? <laughs> yeah. Jill's professional modelling days might be history, but she's found a new way to get noticed. I absolutely love attention. That's probably why I'm always on social media. That's probably why I'm always posting pictures, because I like people to comment nice things. But her teenage sons, Jan and Jem, are horrified by her latest posts on Facebook. She's posting pictures of her boobs. Oh, my God, looks sexy. She's just making me angry. She's a 40-year-old woman. She needs to step back a little bit. What are you looking at? Come in. Explain this. Hang on. How many times do I have to tell you and explain to you? Right, what about that? And that. Nothing I can do about it. It's and the best that, yeah, top in the summer. Yeah, yeah. You see these pictures you're posting, yeah? yeah? With your boobs hanging out and everything, yeah? I don't post pictures of boobs hanging out, Jim. You do? I would never do topless. Right, listen. You lot gotta stop analysing my pictures. I'm not doing nothing bad. Shh. Little do the boys know, the embarrassment factor is about to be racked up with the launch of Jill's sexy toy business. And I'm really excited. I've got vibrators that are quite blingy. My dream is for it to be a long-running family business, so when the boys are old enough, they can take over. If I ever found out that she'd done something really embarrassing, yeah, that will be it. Honestly... 50. Um, need to get a life, basically, because I'm not dead. I want to look good for my age, and I don't want to sit there in a big cardi and look like a frump, so why not? Sharon's determined to look good at any cost. Oh, lovely. Great, my lovely. Let's go, follow me. Although daughter Sophie is not exactly thrilled at the prospect of a bigger-breasted mum, she's accepted Sharon has now gone past the point of no return. I just think she's trying to just make herself a bit more confident and just feel a bit better about herself, because she's 50, she hates being 50, so I suppose it makes her happy. Coming up... Fanny Fox goes on a manhunt. You're not married, then. You're not... I can't deal with it. It's just too much. Wild mum Natalie gets herself a girl. You're nice to cuddle. You can marry my son. And will Sharon's new additions be what she was hoping for? No pain, no gain. In Suffolk, it's the morning after 46-year-old exotic dancer Natalie's wild family outing. After the alcohol fueled excesses of yesterday, it's back to being sensible mum. Wakey, wakey. It's ten past eight. And that means getting 13 year old Poppy up for school. I can get drunk, which relies on me to take her to school on time. My parent. Where's your tie and blazer? You've got two shirts. I love you. Love you. <laughs> My mum, I don't think she's that sensible. <laughs> oh, babe, thanks. We can walk to school. With Poppy taken care of, there's someone else in need of Natalie's mothering. Anyway, I've called. Should I get this in my bed? I'm going to have a look at this in my bed. Girlfriend! Girlfriend! <laughs> Tucked up in Natalie's bed is 20-year-old Safia, who joined in with the family fun yesterday. <laughs> Sunny's like... I said, Sunny, I'm taking this photo video. It's like, Sunny, I'll <laughs> Joking aside, Natalie, in fact, had some very mum-like reasons for stealing Sonny's lady. I said, you're not sleeping together on your first date. You've only just met today. That's not allowed. So I took her to bed with me instead. <laughs> I was well pissed off her mum, but this is one of those things, isn't it? Your mum's look <laughs> looking out for you. If you like her, you're not going to sleep with her. If she likes you, so she'll get to sleep with you. The mother has to try out first. <laughs> Girlfriend. <laughs> Mum's taught me basically everything about life that I needed to know. Like, um, to treat women especially as well, that's what the memo, big side I've seen of it. Like, if I actually meet a girl, I actually meet a girl and I actually, like, take her out, I'm not a slag, basically. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You're nice to cuddle. You can marry my son. Apparently, Mother really does know best, because separating the lovebirds has fueled Sonny's desire. Makes me more intrigued to see her again. I'm still texting her. Hello, darling. <laughs> Just what any 21-year-old needs on a night out, a frisky mother dressed in a cat suit. So you ready for tonight, then? Yeah, I suppose. Just don't cramp my style. Don't cramp my style. <laughs> I will try not to. Thanks, Mum. See why I have to do 
deal with. Like, I know, but Jesus people just Christ. have a bit of fun. It's a cat suit. Everyone loves the cat suit woman, don't they? Within minutes of arriving, Fran's already working the room. So what, what is it this time then? It's going to be baby Guinnesses. And all under her daughter's watchful eye. Seven baby Guinnesses, please. The night's young. Well, yeah. thank you. <laughs> you can get someone that's under 45 that's a bit fit looking, that's got a bit of charm about him, and then I'll be buying him a drink. Having found the sweet spot at the end of the bar, Fran is quick to hook her second catch of the night. You're not married then, you're not... Uh, oh, are you? In between men, Mum grabs the chance to pass on her expertise to her daughter. But I'm the teacher, so you've got to learn how to hustle. This is all about hustling. She's got two free drinks already, like, it's crazy the attention she gets. Lovely. I always swallow the name of the game. I can't deal with it. It's just too much. There's a level. No. <laughs> no. Don't need to hear that stuff from your mother, you know. I've got a big character, so I like to talk to everybody, and I think I'm too friendly because it gets me in a lot of drama. Mum persuades Amy to come back out to play. But it's not just her daughter Fran wants to party with. Is it a bit embarrassing? It is very embarrassing. Come on, Fran, great. I felt like you I was really just great. going to take her out Greece. I mean, if I, if I wasn't your daughter, like I think you'd look great, but it's still embarrassing. It is embarrassing. My mum's always been an embarrassing mother, but I'm proud of her. And like to look the way my mother does at like 47, I'd love to look like that. So, mums of the UK, if you're grappling with young kids. Swamped in domestic drudgery, don't fret. Your time will come. I love you dearly, and I'm still keeping my eyes on you because your mother can act like a dick, but you can't. Told her, and it's not just Amy's mum who's revealing all when it comes to the dating scene. Eamon questions Kelly and Vicky for our cheeky relationship quiz. It's not me, it's you, Thursday at 10. Ryland's here with his bit on the side next. <laughs>